Welcome to the GAO Ask Dr. Kim channel. This video clip is for dentist. Let's learn dental implant treatment with GAO. Hello everybody, I'm back. And today I'm going to share a clinical case of simple number 36, left lower first molar monolithic zirconia crown with the digital workflow. Uh, this is new category, anything about digital dentistry. So this is not an implant case, but I want to share about a uh, digital workflow case. Okay, this case is very straightforward and simple. I only need to do number th uh, restore number 36. I'm going to do with the monolithic zirconia, cr uh, monolithic zirconia crown and with the digital impression. So recently, I'm using brand new digital intraoral scanner from, uh, name is i500 from the Medit, one of Korean CAD CAM uh, scanner company. And this is a movie clip of while I'm taking the upper arch. And the one thing you have to notice is the number 26 has a metal occlusion surface, which will affect the result in terms of the occlusion of number 36. So this is video late scanner and very easy and straightforward and very predictable results. So after upper arch scan, uh, I'm taking lower as well. But uh, this is not my final intraoral scan because I have a double cord on number 36. So I'm taking this preliminary scan with the double cord, which I'm going to adjust it later. So this is how I take a lower intraoral scan. Okay. Then I'm adjusting the lower scan. So I'm erasing the margin area and I'm checking the contacts and all other parts is accurate. Then I'm raising the lower number 36 margin area which I'm going to remove my second code. So after you raise, I go back to the patient. Mm -hmm. Then I remove the second code. Okay. Then I'm adding scan on the marginal area for accurate margin. Of course the margin is most important thing when you make a crown, right? So I'm adding the margin area. Then I finish upper and lower arch scan. Then I'm checking the proximal contacts and margin and I'm erasing the parts that I don't need for the CAD-CAM work. So with the brush tool, I'm removing the mucosa, which I don't need for the cat cam work. Then I'm checking the margin and proximal contacts of adjusted tooth that I'm going to restore. Then I'm checking again for the tooth with the real SDL or OBJ. And uh, uh, I'm also checking the occlusion clearance in terms of the space, vertical space that I need for the uh, my crown. If everything goes well, if everything looks well, and I'm taking the rotulobite registration, and that's it. So I send the case, the, not the case, I send the data to the dental technician that I'm working with, uh, Mr. Go. Uh, one of master dental technician an excellent dental technician i'm working with him more than f 10 years now and he got the case and he designed a mill and stain and he did everything for this crown so he used the exocad software for design the number 36 crown here and this is the upper arch antagonist 
So this is how that's how we designed number 36 and colored and centered and he sent the case back to me. So I tried in patient mouth. It looks good and with the fit checker it was sharp and very nice fit and I cement the crown. So if you divide the detail workflow, like a, like a workflow, this is conventional workflow. This is a mix with the digital and conventional workflow. I usually, like I use a lot of time. And this, uh, the last one is digital workflow. So if you name it, this case was done without model. So this is modelless digital workflow. So I'm going to divide, I'm going to explain about this division, like a classification later on. So that's it. That was it for today. And thank you for watching. And I'm thinking to have another, like a more movie clip about the digital dentistry. So please uh, subscribe my channel. And thank you, uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll be back. Thank you.